Hey everyone, it's um, Finchinator here, and I'm going to be live, um, well, not live, post rather narrating Hootie against Realistic Waters for Snake. This is um one of the first NU games, so we're going to get into it. I was on for the game, but unfortunately I wasn't able to narrate it then because my roommate was in the room, but now I figured I'd give it a go a bit later that evening. It's like 8.30 now, the game was played in the middle of the afternoon. So yeah, um, Hootie's got a pretty standard but cool team. We got um the core of... Stealth Rock Steelix and what looks like an Assault Vest Slowbro, seeing as it's paired with Zatu, is that kind of just a nice defensive threesome there. Um, we've got Incineroar as a breaker with um, likely Z, probably Swords Dance Ryan as a breaker. It also checks Vanilla, so that's nice. You've got what likely is a Spex, Heliolisk, and a Scarf, the Simeon's run up the team. Very, very standard. Not weak to much, although Vika Vault is a bit annoying, as, as you'll see on the opposing side. Uh, people were telling me it was Vika Vault. Or Vicavolt, but I'm gonna pronounce it Vicavolt. I think that's right. But um, yeah. Anyway, realistic waters team. Another pretty standard build, but a bit more um, it, less of like the optimal everyday structure. Not 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 say suboptimal, but yeah. Um, it has a couple mods you see a bit less, but still all of them are fairly common nevertheless. Um, so you've got Steel, Silvali. They're, they're all Steel if they are. Vicavolt, Slowbro, Rhydon. Sneasel and Passimian. Um, looking at the team, it's definitely Scarf Passimian. And seeing as there's no like Pharaoh Seed, there's no um no real need for things to be trapped. Um, it's probably Choice Band as opposed to like Dark Plate or Life Orb on the Sneasel. Um, Rhydon is definitely just Stealth Rock Setter on this team. Um, probably just Stealth Rock P Pursuit, Toxic, um, or Sword Dance the last move with Bill Stab. Um, Slowbro. Um, probably is Colbert on this team. It could be Assault Vest, but I think with Rhydon and Silvali Steel, it's not necessary. Vika Vault is probably Z-Bug, and Silvali is a Defog set. Looking at the matchup, I'd say it's pretty even. Both standard teams that can push the envelope on each other with Heliolisk and Cinero on the side, Vika Vault, and even Sneasel on the side. But So let's look into it. Um, we're going to see the leads are going to be um, Incinero and Slowbro. So unless it's a U-turn, we're probably going to want to see this switch out. And we're going to see the Slowbro file of this call into... Um, a signal beam, and we can see Scald from Hootie's as the follow-up, and it gets get burned. So, a pretty even start, although it favors Hootie a bit in the long haul. However, now we're going to see a good play from Realistic Waters. She's going to predict the slow to switch out because it died to the next signal beam. But instead of going to Zav2, which is personally what I'd have done, I went to Zav2. You should, he goes to um, the Helios predicting either another signal beam or a Scald as it soaks up the Scald. But instead, he took 84% from. Uh, a side shock, which is about what you'd expect damage wise, considering it's a max special attack, I believe, Slowbro. Probably Soul Fest, given that given that information. And it's a heal which is incredibly frail. But, um, so yeah, it looks like it's a bit of an advantageous position for Waters now, especially since this is an awkward move for the Hootie side. Honestly, I think ultimately you just Volt Switch because Ride On risks Surf, and I don't think that he goes Ride On, so. I'm expecting a Volt Switch and maybe a Savali Steel or a Vika Volt with it. We'll wait and see, though. So we get the Vika Volt on a Volt Switch doing 31%, confirming that respect, and then Cinero is going to come to threaten us out. Now it's just a matter of if he actually acts on that, and he does go for a knockoff, nicely done by Hootie to cripple the Scarfer. But however, we're going to see a knockoff in the Passimian here, so that kind of evens things out. And then a faster U-turn from Hootie, which sucks. You'd want to lose that speed tie if you're both getting a U-turn. Because now you could potentially get trapped by the Sneasel. However, he goes to Vico Vault looking to get a kill. He's not going to get it immediately as Steelix is going to come in and should live any two hits. Savage Spinout does do a lot. This is a heavy attack invested. However, it's still going to be able to get Stealth Rock up. This turn knows that too. And in Power Fire wasn't present in the set. It's not very common. Anyway, two Bug Buzz is going to kill it there. So now we're at a 6-5 position failing Realist Waters. Hootie's got to make some plays here, as well he's going to fall behind, as he goes for the Flare Blitz, doing seemingly nothing to hog the right on. I'm pretty, pretty poor play there. I, I really went aggressive there. There's no way people see season. But anyway, you get Passimian in. Hopefully you turn close combat. Not great. I think Hootie's a step behind at this point. I think he's playing kind of passive. But here we see a U-turn, 39, and Slowbro's likely going to come in. Another Slowbro. Yep, Signal Beam. That is fine, because you're tripping it all around and you could live another um let me see a signal beam here into the um i, I would have just called it there that was kind of odd i don't really know what signal beam hit and we're gonna see you turn there into the vehicle vault which is where realist quarters stop stops playing well 
Um, this play made no sense to me. It's going to be on a ride on that isn't needed defensively. It's going to put me enough speed to the door. That lives a close combat for sure and can do a ton with it. Quick put it in easel range. But if this specimen is gunk shot, then it'll likely be able to kill the um, Vika Volt. And apparently he didn't account for that whatsoever. He probably just forgot about it. And he lets go of the Vika Volt. So now it's in a 5-5 um, position. But then he, instead of bringing in the Rhydon, he goes to the Pissimian and risks the speed tie. When close combat might not even kill from 70, he's probably a roll. He loses the speed tie. So he just threw away two Pokemon for, in my opinion, what would essentially be no real gain. He finally forced it up on the Sneasel. I don't understand why he preserved the Rhydon. Um, but it is what it is. Anyway, so that kills the Zatu fodder. Now Incinero comes in. Hoody clearly is upper hand at this point. Um, Rhydon comes in. We're going to see a Swords Dance here. I'm hoping that it's the ground, and it appears to be the ground indeed. And the Rhydon wisely gets out of the way here. However, if you preserve the Pissimian, that this would be a problem. But finally, Hoody notices, okay, I need this for Sneasel. I'm just going to fire the Helios. Yeah, because any of you move, that's a mind game anyway at this point with Steel Volley and Ryan still alive. He goes to the Slowbro. Slowbro is going to get the Steel Volley Steel and probably do about 25 with the Scald. It gets the Burn, does 23. Leaves a 51, 2 kill with Burn damage. Multi attack. I don't know why this is a move on the Steel Volley Steel. U turn, I get because you don't get Zat, two party shot, but like this made no sense. Then he goes for Flamethrower and a bit more. Very weird Steel Volley Steel set. I feel like they all need Toxic. and He doesn't have Toxic on the Slowbro or the Rhydon either. But it is what it is. Weird team from Waters. Probably some tight ass stuff. But anyway, I feel like you do need Toxic on that type of team. You need Toxic on every team pretty much this bounce. But anyway, so trade damage. Finally take out the slow bro with um, Sneeze left. You lose like another Pokemon to it and ride on. And then Cinderella is just going to finish the game off here. It does dodge that spell cross. You probably would have needed two flinches to win the game anyway. Um, perhaps, yeah, three flinches because Pissimian is live as well. And who's going to win the game in the fairly close 2 0 that was really winnable for realist squatters? Um, he played early game very well, but he kind of fell apart against the Pissimian sequence, which was quite odd. But anyway, Hoody made less mistakes in his game, and he came out on top even though he had a passive early game. Um, this is Finch. Peace.